أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In this holy month of Hajj immense immense realities From the beginning of Muharram the first month we stepped out on our right foot and that was the beginning of the hijrah and the movement towards Allah's Divinely Presence which never ends. All the way to the month of Hajj, the twelfth month, the month of completion with all of its blessings and its barakah. Hujjaj are now moving towards the realities of the tawaf and the reality of circumambulation and the reality that Prophet is circumambulating Most High. And that's what Allah describing, قَالْبِ الْمُؤْمِنْ بَيْتُ اللَّهِ بَيْتُ الْمَحْمُورِ That is the maqam of Sayyidina Muhammad As Prophet is making that tawaf, those emanations, it's a waterfall, Tanzil al-Rahmah is coming all upon creation. The Prophets of Allah the holy companions of Prophet the Ahlul Bayt of Prophet and the Awliya Allah, they are the real hujaj that are moving and being dressed by these realities. They remind for us that Sayyidina Ibrahim salam, Sayyidina Hagar and Sayyidina Ismail salam, have to do with our reality and the reality of Islam, the reality of Iman and the reality of Maqam al-Ihsan. Islam is to submit your will to the will of God Almighty. Wherever you are, whatever religion, whatever practices you are practicing, your Islam is about submitting your will to the will of God, to the will of Allah I don't want anything of your property and your goods, I want the only thing that I gave to you back and that is Islam. I want your free will. All my creatures and all my animals, they have no will, they surrender. You the animal that talking and have all this gift, submit your will back to me. And Allah inspires within our heart and turn to Islam. Take a path in which submit your will and your desire to my Divinely desire and my Divinely will. And Sayyidina Ibrahim comes into our life and teaches that I'm representing that station for this example. That Allah put an order within my heart and my whole being fighting that order if I have to do that. And everybody has a desire and a love within their heart and Allah come into that heart and say, I'm requesting it. Sayyidina Ibrahim coming to teach, I want to take you to these maqams and these realities. Your life is about trying to become from the ulul am, that what is Allah requesting from us? And how are we going to try to obey? If you can live a life in which to follow the ulul am, the people who obey Allah's command. We are not a rebellious people, we are not a protesting people, we don't take any issue to the street. 
The only protest we have is with shaitan and that should be within the heart of insan. That's the first jamarat. They begin to stone that jamarat and they stone with 21 stones. They time 21 times that secret because this is from the realities of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. When they're collecting the stones at the end, they're opening from the secrets of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem that all these realities to open upon their soul. They reach to the second jamarat in the station of faith. The second shaitan that's standing there is a reminder of the station of Sitna Hagar that I'm representing Atiya Rasul. Now you're elevating. Sitna Hagar comes into their life and says, Now throw your stone and be from people of Atiya Rasul because she followed her husband, the Messenger of God. If you're able to follow the command, then the next maqam will be opening is from her reality. That stone this shaitan that he's fiercely coming after you in the station of faith. If you ask people, do you have faith? They say, yeah, Shaykh, I have faith. I pray, I give my zakah. No, no, you don't have no faith. Faith is an event. Faith is not something you say, I have faith. Faith is when Allah just says, you have faith. You're going to have a light that comes into your heart and you're going to have an overwhelming experience. Allah will present your life before your eyes. Because now the maqam of faith is the opening of the heart. Sayyidina Hagar comes and it's not something easy. How my Prophet is telling me he's going to sacrifice my son? It makes no sense to me, it doesn't even make sense in the sharia of that time. But love of Prophet Samina wa ta'ala, it's not for me to understand anything, I don't know myself. Don't think you know, little bit of knowledge of yours is confusing every mind. As soon as you teach something, they use this two cents and two pieces of knowledge that they learned to battle against what you're trying to teach. Allah just said, don't. This maqam of Atiya Rasul, you know nothing. All you know is that your love for the Rasul, you obey and we are the people of Samina wa Athana. We heard and we obeyed. We follow the ulul am, we hear, we obey. If that is accomplished and Prophet described this faith, love me more than you love yourself. So she's teaching, love the Rasul, obey the Rasul, spit upon the shaitan. He's going to continuously try to confuse you from fulfilling the command that Allah wants. Why Allah gave the example by His wife? Because there's a love. Your body has to have a love for your soul. You have to care for your soul. She's something precious within you that Allah gave. You cannot destroy your soul. You cannot not feed your soul. You cannot abuse your soul and abandon your soul. It's a love. You think that only you have to protect your wife? No, Allah I gave you something more precious than her because she also has her soul. But I gave you a precious soul within you, fragile. Your belief has to nourish her to bring her into her strength. That is then that love and shaitan not happy with that and keep bombarding. If your Islam is strong, 
Your belief is strong and your faith is strong. If they can accomplish that jamarat, if they can accomplish that stoning, the Ya Rabbi led us to fulfill our covenant, our ahad, our, our contract that we made with you. The last jamarat that they're taking us is now the whole secret of Sayyidina Muhammad Secret Realities of Hajj features invaluable teachings and spiritual insight into the Islamic holy pilgrimage of Hajj. The author, Sheikh Nurjan, takes us from the historical references of holy prophets to the remarkable scientific explanations of the circumambulation. The beautiful illustrations aid in explaining the concepts, allowing the reader to fully comprehend its profound realities. Timeless Reality with Sheikh Nurjan Marahmadi Guides the Reader in Meditation Connecting the heart to a guide and to daily spiritual practices to understand the effects of positive and negative energy and to progress the reader in their spiritual awakening and the soul's connection to the world of light The Divine's Ancient Timeless Reality Order on Amazon.com The last jamarat that they're taking us is now the whole secret of Sayyidina Muhammad So this third one is the most difficult. Sayyidina Ismail comes into our life and begins to teach, if your Islam was strong, your deen was strong. Your love for Prophet was strong and Allah opened a light within your heart of faith. They begin to become Ahlul Basira. They see what people don't see as a result their faith Allah wants to increase it day by day. When they increase their faith a child will be born. Between your body and your soul when they come together just like the man and the woman, a new entity will be born. Is this fitrat al-Islam and the, the birth of an innocent reality is maqam al-Ihsan. And Sayyidina Ismail comes into our life and says, do you want this maqam al-Ihsan? If you're Ahl Muhammad from Ummat and Nabi this is your station, this is your inheritance. When you begin from the people who have obeyed Prophet what Allah opens for you so that you can succeed the Zamzam. So I struggled and moved and moved and moved until Allah inspired on the seventh time, hit the ground and we will begin to nourish you in your movement. Because this movement of obeying Prophet you can no longer be sustained from this dunya. I will sustain you from my oceans of kawthar. Sitna Hagar, she's then now an example. You want to be from the people of Kautar.
pray unto your Lord and live a life of sacrifice. She didn't sacrifice money, she didn't sacrifice property, she f sacrificed her son. That Zamzam opened so that Sayyidina Ismail السلام, could drink from that nourish his reality because from his light now is coming the best of all creation. The reality of Sayyidina Muhammad is coming. Allah is saying, no nothing from this dunya going to sustain that reality but I'm going to make him to drink from my Kawthar oceans. Allah open the Kawthars, open my fountains of Kawthar. I would not have sent the reality of Prophet but it's a rahmah. And that fountain began to flow into dunya. So Sayyidina Ibrahim is now going to go and sacrifice his son. The wife is submitting to the order of the Rasul. Sayyidina Ismail begins to tell his father that, you'll find me to be patient with what Allah has ordered for you. And only by the sense of an example Sayyidina Ibrahim is allowing the example that who was higher in this sacrifice? The one who sacrifices his property or the one who sacrifices himself? As a result of Sayyidina Ismail's sacrifice of himself, Allah gave him to drink from the kawthar. Sayyidina Ismail comes into our life and now teaches us that this nation of Sayyidina Muhammad their honour and their dignity is not in the sacrificing of their property, their money and their time. But they will astonish on how they sacrifice themselves. They're a nation in which they sacrifice themselves for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad As soon as you learn from awliyaullah, all those who want to follow Prophet then sacrifice yourself. We're not talking about blowing yourself up. Sacrifice yourself means take all your bad characteristics to be down. Take all the bad desires to be down. And then they begin to teach this station of maqam al-ihsan is by this character they have that they wanted to reach Allah's satisfaction. They wanted the love and the acknowledgement of Prophet all the companions. They sacrificed themselves. They had not seen Allah Who sees Allah They saw Sayyidina Muhammad As a result of the love and the character of Prophet they endured hardship. They endured humiliation, they endured all types of difficulties, what? For the love of Prophet So they could be kawthari. You want to be from the people of the kawthar? Then they come into our life and ask us, what have you sacrificed for Prophet Then Allah inspires, come to the turuq. If you follow them you'll understand. So between the big Prophet of Allah and this little boy who gave? The big Prophet of Allah, he was sacrificing the boy. That which you're not paying attention to and that you overlook the reality of Sayyidina Ismail who know he was the lamb, he was the sacrifice, he was the one who was going to be slaughtered. That's very dear to Allah Those people are the people of Maqam al-Ihsan.
Don't take a life in which you want to take your hisab with your own hand. You want to vindicate yourself with your own tongue. فَصَلِ لِرَبِّكَ وَنْحَارِ They went into their worshipness and Allah continuously crushed them, continuously effaced them, continuously brought them down and they said nothing. And they do all of it for the love of Prophet on the day that Allah opened for them to sit at the table with Sayyidina Muhammad and to drink from the realities of the kawthar. Subhanahu wa rabbika rabbal izzat amma yazifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Secret Realities of Hajj features invaluable teachings and spiritual insight into the Islamic holy pilgrimage of Hajj. The author Sheikh Nurjan takes us from the historical references of holy prophets to the remarkable scientific explanations of the circumambulation. The beautiful illustrations aid in explaining the concepts, allowing the reader to fully comprehend its profound realities. If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations are going. We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK. as well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input, and with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously being upgraded and improved providing an all-encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been to provide basic necessities to the most in need worldwide. From feeding people in Vancouver's downtown east side, to clothing LA's homeless community, and supporting a children's orphanage in Pakistan. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings. NurMuhammad.com forward slash donate. Ya hayo ya kayo ya hayo ya kayo ya hayo ya kayo ya hayo ya. Yeah,